Morning guys, it's Thursday, about 10 a.m. And as usual, at the start of every morning, kind of just check emails and kind of see where we're going from there. There's no stand-up, which is kind of nice, which is why I'm starting at 10. I have a couple meetings. So just a little about this project. As I said, it's kind of wrapping up and in the process of getting done. We're super close actually. So right now it's a little bit of the refinement work slash stuff that we've missed for MVP. But basically this stack is kind of a legacy application. It was built before I got here and what we did is basically kind of just a UI update as well as adding an admin portal. And the stack for this is a C Sharp or .NET MVC type of application, which is kind of cool because I've never worked on it, but it's also a little bit weird in terms of uh, Razor HTML is kind of what that uses. I know C Sharp at least because of a uh, class I took in college as well as it's pretty similar to Java so that was pretty decent. And if you've seen my previous videos you know that I'm a front-end intern. For this upcoming sprint I'm doing a little bit of the cleanup stuff making everything consistent as well as accessibility work adhering to the WKEG 2.1. Uh, we try to aim for AAA, but I mean AA or single A works as well for things that we cannot hit. And other than that, I'm also doing a little bit of data validation in terms of just, you know, if the title needs to be a required field and it can't be over, you know, 80 characters or 50 characters or something. So kind of just doing that. I'll show you guys a little bit more in depth. Having a standing desk is super handy for this filming stuff too, I guess. So for all this front-end UI stuff, I definitely have the Chrome debugger or the Chrome console slash elements over here. So I can kind of just play around with, as you can see, it's highlighting over there to the left. Just anything that I need to change style or move on the page, that type of stuff. And one more pretty neat thing is if you've never heard of this Chrome extension called Wave, it basically allows you to check accessibility. As you can see, I have some red bits over there. I might have to blur some of that stuff out. But if I just go over here, Chrome extension kind of just applies and highlights everything that you need to do. So we've got like seven features, 24 ARIA labels, but we do have 23 errors. And in the details, if I click that, it kind of just shows you each portion on what uh, what it needs accessibility. So that's kind of how I'm testing as I go in terms of just what portions need accessibility and what I haven't added to like this certain page just yet. And just one of the cleanup items that I'm doing is that there's a keyboard trap basically. So if I kind of tab through and keep going, there is no way of getting rid of this modal unless you wanna scroll through all of these links at the very bottom. So I'm kind of just going through and making sure that it just sticks to the modal. So once it goes to save, it should just technically come back up. Now, a lot of the heavy lifting for this application has already been done before I filmed this. I'm kind of just filming it towards the end since I have a little bit more time. You know, we've reached MVP pretty much and now we're just packaging and making sure that everything looks good for the customer. You know, sometimes, and you know, some of these days are kind of like this. It's always nice too, just because it isn't like too brain intensive, it's just more, all right, does this look right? Or, you know, add some ARIA labels, let's do this and that. And, you know, sometimes it's a nice little break. And next up is just gonna be lunch, as well as my midday shower. <laughs> I saw a lot of people talking about this actually from work from home. And I did this unintentionally as well, where I kind of just take a shower midday and it kind of like helps break up the day or something. So now I'm just gonna continue along and do some data validation since that's probably more important than getting rid of a keyboard trap right now. 
and I'll kind of just do a time lapse. I don't think you can see any of this, but at least you'll be able to see some workflow. All right, so I kind of wrapped up a little bit of validation stuff. I only did two fields for now just because it was more of just the testing phase and seeing how it kind of works all together. And right now it is about 4.30. So I'm kind of just wrapping up and seeing what items I want to just get started on for Monday. I'm just going to look at some PBIs on our work board and take a look at if I need to move anything or just throw any updates in there. Since it is kind of a long weekend, I don't want to forget and just go to Monday stand up and be like, oh, I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to do that and from there, I don't know, I'll probably just relax and watch some YouTube. Just picked up some Starbucks because basically I have a good bit of homework that I need to do for my summer classes. So I'm trying to get that done somewhat tonight and tomorrow so that I'll have like Saturday and Sunday for free. Other than that, just headed back right now. I won't start on homework until feel pretty late because I don't need to be up early tomorrow since of the holiday. And that's pretty much it. 